Hey gadget groupies, no smartphone manufacturer is perfect and even the biggest players in the space can sometimes make mistakes. This year, I wanted to run down some of my favorite companies and see if I could pick out what I thought their biggest mistake of the year was. Oh, Motorola. Would a rose by any other name smell as sweetly? That's actually the big question and, in my opinion, the major misstep facing Moto this year on their flagship phone. 2017 was another great year showing Moto's prowess at building really nice entry-level and mid-range fare. But when it came to their flagship line, there really wasn't anything seriously wrong with the phone. Moto Z2 Force was actually a pretty fun device to review, though we did have a few concerns over the screen durability. Sure, it's shatterproof, but it seemed to be very scratch-enabled for that plastic shell on the front face. I still think Motorola should at least sell a first-party glass screen protector for that phone, but what they focused on, I think they got right. The biggest problem with the Moto Z2 Force had little to do with the actual engineering or construction of a flagship phone and everything to do with what it was called. Last year, Motorola considered the Moto Z Force's killer app, the main feature, to be that shatterproof display. And remember, they had two different Moto Zs that year, the really, really skinny Moto Z and the really fat Moto Z Force. So this year, they kind of just smashed those two phones together, taking the thinner frame of the Moto Z and applying that shatter-resistant display. The actual misstep here? I think Motorola completely underestimated the consumer reaction to a phone being called the Force. For Motorola, the Force Force represented the shatter shield display. For consumers, the Force represented the phone what with the bigger battery. If Moto had just called this phone the Moto Z2, this would have been viewed as an upgrade. But we get really hung up on names, just like those folks who get pissed off about Apple calling their phone this year the iPhone 8, when it's really an iPhone 7S. If you complain about stuff on the internet, that's what you sound like. I'm so angry about a smartphone name! Literally one word on the box was enough to create an echo chamber of negative sentiment around a phone, which otherwise was a pretty solid performer. But that's just me and another IMO, Motorola's biggest mistake of 2017, calling their phone the Moto Z2 Force. Do you think Motorola made a bigger mistake in 2017? Drop me a comment down below. Let's have a fun smartphone catharsis over the brands we know and love. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for all of my ranty and vloggy videos, some accessories and some other gadget reviews coming your way right quick. You can catch me around the web as some gadget guy, and I will catch you all on the next video.